Do you guys remember the time when I said I couldn't do the whole chicken shebang thing? Well, it turns out I can. I have officially become one of those people. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Unfilter Me series. It is called Mama. Uh, I am on my way to my pole dance class, but for today, I thought I would update you guys on my progress and also we're going to delve a little into my diet like what I actually been eating as that is my biggest change so far with this diet but first, uh, let's get my butt cake by pole dance Let's go! Hey guys, so I just came back from my pole dance class and I took a shower and guys, let me just say pole dance is so difficult like I'm not kidding like not only does it require of course a lot of strength but you basically have to pretend that you enjoy your skin getting grazed and skinned by the really cold and hard pole which is, which is great to be honest <laughs> I'm first gonna go ahead and do my skincare and first I'm going to take this little toner pad, which I cannot reveal what it is yet. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But let me just say, it's very big. It's soaked with essence. It's very hydrating, calming. Doesn't feel flimsy at all. So with the smooth side, I'm just going to wipe the rest of my skin. And then with the texture side, I'm going to tackle my T-zone area. Ooh la la. The big reveal will come very soon, guys. Very soon. Don't worry. Next, for the serum, I'm going to use the April Skin, the Real Keratin Blemish Clear Serum. So far, so good. The serum has a very unique scent, almost uh, like an herbal, a hint of musk in it. I can't explain it. And for La Creme, I'm going to, of course, use the Real Barrier Extreme Cream. Please focus, darling. Please focus. Thank you. Um, but I'm also going to mix it in with the Alive Last Centella Dressing Powder. Do you guys remember this product? Oh my gosh. I used to love using this and then I remembered and so I took it back out again because it's such a great product. So it's basically a powder product that contains extracts from Centella Asiatica. And the great thing about this product is that you can... Basically mix it in with any skincare that you want which means that the chance of you breaking out from this product is very very minimal because you're already mixing it in with products that you know work for your skin. Nowadays, I've been breaking out a bit on my chin area. It's a little red. Now, I'm not getting any pustules but I am getting a little bit of pimples here and there so I just want to calm it down so I, I will be putting this powder on top of my cream and just making my little own formula so I'm mixing it and making my own little mixture on the back of my hands I'm just going to go ahead and apply it straight away on my cheek areas and my chin areas please calm down girl please and also with this dressing powder, you can go ahead and apply it straight right onto any pimple that you might have and it will do the job and calm it down. I t completely forgot about this product which I really really enjoyed Then I brought it out again. And I'm just going to let the dressing powder do its magic and hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up with more calm down chin area. Oh, by the way guys, did I mention that this only retails for 8,000 won in Korea? It's very, very affordable. So it's a great way to incorporate into your skincare routine without breaking the bank and without breaking your skin out. I'm also going to apply my good, good all Vita C Green Tangerine Eye Cream. One pump will do, it's all that I need. Now, like I said, I want to update you guys on my progress and talk a little bit more about my eating habits, which to be honest is the one thing that has changed drastically and I'm so happy that I'm saying this because I don't know if you guys remember but the beginning of August when I was embarking on this new journey I told you guys that I wanted to change my life for the better I wanted to make changes in my habits that would last for a lifetime like I was so sick and done of doing diets for like three months and then going back into my binge eating habits and gaining all that weight back again so I'm so proud to say to you guys that I have 
finally made that change and it's a it's something that i want to sustain for for the rest of my life if possible hang on let me just get one more pump for my skin lines so even though I was really good at working out diligently, ugh, my relationship with food, to be honest, was not the best one. I just had a really unhealthy relationship and I would binge eat, I would stress eat, and I would starve myself when I wanted to lose weight. And around August, when I was starting out this new diet for myself, my trainer told me, he was like, you know what, you really have to start intaking more protein, such as chicken breast, fish, um, beef, if you really want to lose your fat fat mass fat mass does that make sense if you really want to lose weight right and i was like okay i'll give it a go like why not right even though i was skeptical so i basically increased my intake of protein from zero percent to sixty percent and i decreased my carbs down that much and as much as i hate to admit this it worked guys it worked oh i hate it when they're right i hate it let me just show you guys with results so this is these are two embodies that i did one of them at the beginning or mid around mid august when i first started out with the whole chicken breast, breast thing and then this is one that i took at the end of october so three months so if you compare these two results even though there are no changes in my weight so i was 67.2 kilograms when i started out and then here i I was I am 60 where am I 66.9 so it's like what 0 0.3 kilograms difference which is honestly not that much however I want to point out if you look at the difference in my body fat I have decreased from 34.8 to 32.7 that's a whopping 2% and I want to mention I gained 0 0.7 kilograms in total muscle mass can we please get a round of applause for me? <laughs> so basically, um, these results show you guys that even though I didn't really change in the overall weight, my body fat went down by 2% and I still managed to gain muscle. That is an incredible feat for me just because the diets that I always did before were ones where i just i would just like starve myself and i would lose like muscle as well as fat and it was just not healthy guys it was just not healthy now as well as being able to lose fat here's something that i really really want to tell you guys and this is the most important message so as i was continuing and as i'm continuing with this very very heavy based protein diet not only did i lose weight but I saw so many positive changes within my body. And I'm talking about first, I got shinier hair. If you guys see my other YouTube, couple of my recent videos, you guys have seen me like rave about how bomb my hair looked. And I honestly think it's because of this change in my diet because other than that, I haven't really changed anything. So it gives you shinier hair, healthier hair. Second of all, I don't get any PMS cramps. It's crazy. I used to have to take like two Advils, one or two Advils always, but now I don't even need it. It's crazy. Third of all, my level of stamina is very stable and very strong and solid. So before when I used to eat a lot of carbs and sugar, yes, I would have that spark of energy level go up, but it goes down really fast. That's the downside of taking a lot of carbs and sugar. Also, another great thing is that I break out less. Yes, I still get pimples here now and then, but definitely for sure with my postules, Lord, I have decreased so much with posture, with getting postural acne and those are the ones that hurt the most. And because I went through so many of these positive changes, I realized that food has a much more bigger impact on our bodies than we realize. It's not just about losing weight. It's about picking the right fuel to optimize our body, our functions, just basically everything in our lives really. Hey you guys, oh my goodness, I just finished pole dance class. I hope you guys can hear me, I'm by the Munya Road. Anyways, I finished pole dance class, I got beaten by pole dance two days. Class was so hard, oh my gosh, like I still feel like I'm running out of breath. But, I'm improving very very much, so I'm excited as the classes go by. 
But yeah, uh, right now I'm on my way to E-Mart to get some chicken breast. Oh my gosh. The past me would have gone crazy over at this section. Like food used to be such an emotional thing for me. Like these are, oh my gosh, I see all my best friends here. Cheesecake, hello old companions. Holy crap. Instead, food is now my fuel. So what I put inside my body is very, very important. So I'm getting chicken breast. They don't have my favorite. I really like the tandoori one. Oh, here we go. These ones are a bit more spicy though. Healthy fuel to optimize my body. I get like 10 each. Um, just so that I don't have to make the trip. And I'm old school guys, so I don't like to order things online. Exhausted. Still feel like I'm out of breath from the pole dance class today. Today was harsh. Anyways, I just want to mention to you guys that just to wrap up and finish, I guess my perception, my change in perception of how I view food, because food, like I said, is no longer an emotional thing for me. I don't crave all those things that I used to eat as much, and that's why I think I've been able to sustain this diet as long as I have been able to now, four months and counting, and I'm not sick and tired of this diet at all. I'm I'm really content with it. I really like the way it makes me feel. I love the way it makes me feel strong and healthy. So yeah, I think definitely this was a major change that has happened that has really helped out with my new, I guess, way of living, my new lifestyle, as you will. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower now because I'm exhausted. Ugh. Good morning. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is very dry nowadays. I finished my morning workout. I just decided to do a stay home and just do 20 minutes of Blogilates because my gym is closed due to Corona. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really good workout. Blogilates can kick your butt. She knows what she's doing. Anyways, I really enjoy workouts, so I just decided to do 20 minutes of that. Took a shower, washed my hair. And yeah, uh, we are gonna go eat, but I'm just going to really quickly do my skincare. This is, of course, the Keep Cool Soothe Bamboo Toner. Oh, my skin actually craved this. Like, as I was, after I took my shower, I was like, damn, I need some Keep Cool Bamboo Toner in my skin. It just really really quenches your skin's thirst which I love so I'm just going to do a bit of that and also guys today I thought I would show you guys what I eat so I'm starving right now <laughs> I haven't eaten anything uh, I do like to uh, work out on an empty stomach in the morning because I digest kind of slow I guess so what is that little mark? Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought I was seeing something. Um, but yeah, so after I do my skincare, I'm gonna cook up my... What I usually eat with the chicken breast. And that way, you guys will have an idea of what I eat on a normal basis. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. Also, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last night with the cream and the centella... Uh, yeah, centella dressing powder. Just apply that. As a matter of fact, I know it still looks a little red, but my chin area has calmed down a lot. Like, it used to be really bumpy, but using this little... Hey, it looks like I have a white mustache. Sorry. Using this little uh, powder has really helped calm down my skin. So, it's really, really great. And you can get it on your style, guys. And I have a coupon code so you can get a discount. But anyways... Oh my gosh, I'm starving. All right, let me go ahead and cook myself my first meal and I'll be right back. Here it is, guys. Ta-da! I present you. Sorry, I was really hungry. This is basically fried rice with chicken breast, eggplant, carrot, and spring onion or green onion. And this is the dish that I will have on a normal basis when I'm having chicken breast. And of course, with a little bit of salad on the side. And I know, of course, this isn't as clean or healthy as just 
straight up eating chicken breast with just salad. And as much as I understand the importance of eating healthy, it is not worth giving up my sanity for. Let me tell you guys that. So at the beginning of August, I was just eating straight up uh, chicken breast salad and I thought I was gonna go crazy. I didn't realize that eating could make me so unhappy. So I just, this is a compromise and I think it's just worth it because I am guarding my sanity. So yeah, and of course I always eat dressing. Like this is like giving, asking me to give up dressing is just like asking me to give up my soul and my happiness. Like that, I can't do that guys, I'm sorry. So uh, the dressing that I always eat is the Pulmuan Oriental dressing. Yes. Now of course I will be shooting, if you guys want, like what I eat in a day, a proper what I eat in a day so I can show you guys what I eat as a healthy snack, like an alternative snack because you guys know I used to love eating chocolate, like donuts, muffins, cupcakes. Oof, guys, don't seduce me right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Now, here we go. I'm watching Grace and Frankie. It's really good, guys. All done. So delish. It's all thanks to this guy right here. Mm -mm. Oh my god, if I was to give a speech for an award, I would dedicate it to this guy right here. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that I was able to impart some of my wisdom to you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also if you guys want to see what I eat in a day, a proper what I eat in a day, make sure to let me know down below. I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!